welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Guernsey. It's a Sunday today and it's a bit grey and overcast so I've got very little else to do. Thought we'd do something a bit different today. I'm going to introduce you to my hero. No, not Alan. Well, of course it's Alan, but um, you'll see. So just a quick reminder, please subscribe and also hit that like button if of course you do. So one of the unexpected side effects of Alan's operation, oh and by the way thank you so much for all your good wishes, they really are appreciated and he's on the mend now and we hope, hopefully we'll be out on the road again soon so more tales to tell. But one of the side effects and a very good one is the fact that I've had to do a lot of the filming and as a result of that I have got a new hero. My Hero 12 Black. Well it's got blue sparkly bits on it as well actually but it is brilliant. I've never had one all to myself before and this is mine. <laughs> I've pressed the button on the others but I didn't always get that right. So this has been a whole new experience and so much simpler. So we thought, because we've had so many questions about what we use to film, that we'll give you a bit of a review today. But we haven't got enough subscribers to be paid for this, so there's no money involved here. And that's another hint to subscribe if you can. Um, I'm using this beautiful little thing, which is simplicity itself unlike what Alan uses. Take a look. Here it is. It's a Nikon Z2. And he's got all the gizmos that go with it. Look, I'm even under studio lights. Look at the size of that tripod. We're going to need a bigger motorhome because look at all of that. But instead, I just have this little Hero 12. So, this isn't going to be a technical review. This is from the point of view of a fairly green content creator that wants simplicity, ease, and the ability to use it, because it is quite small, without having to put my glasses on all the time to see what I'm doing. So, as they say, oh, and there's no unboxing either, but I have kept the box. <laughs> bit sad like that, light boxes. You'll see there's another one in a minute as well. So, um, so as the professional reviewers say, let's get right into it. As I said, this is not an unboxing, but yes, I have kept the box. Probably get rid of this soon, actually. But um, thought I'd show you what you get. Because what we've got, what we've bought, isn't just the Hero 12 Black. We've bought the Creator Edition. A <laughs> bit grand, isn't it? Anyway, so you get the lovely little Hero 12. And it comes with the Media Mod as well. Now, unlike the earlier ones, which is a bit of a faff because you have to swap settings to get the front and back mic. This has got a 360 degree mic, so it's really useful. And you can put the camera in here, but more about this later. Um, you get a box in a box. You get a stick or a selfie stick or whatever you want to call it, but it's also a tripod. like that and it's also a battery bank and you can test the battery level you can change the mode and most importantly for me there's an on off switch which makes life beautifully simple and it's very tactile it's really good because it's oval rather than round so it doesn't slip in your hand and silly little things like this the wrist strap you're not going to drop it. it it's really good this by the way is for plugging into the uh, the side of the camera the media mod it keeps the batteries topped up 
So, in addition to that, having taken the diffuser off by accident, you get a light. And you can use it with or without diffuser. There you go. And the diffuser as well. And that slips into the cold shoe on the top of the camera. Oh, sorry, I'm always doing this. I, Alan keeps telling me you have to press and hold. He's been telling me that for years. I've never got it right. Um, anyway, that aside, you also get screws and clips quite usefully as well because the 12 is waterproof down to 10 meters, but not with the media mod on it. But you get two sides to this, one of which has got a hole in so you can charge your battery without taking the camera apart. Another irritating thing from the old one. And one hasn't, so that makes it waterproof. Get two USB-C cables, and what else do you get? Oh yeah, there's a curved mount and a straight mount with the usual type of fitting, the, the two sort of clips that come down. But one additional thing, with this one now is it's got a screw hole. Don't know if you can see that, which means it screws onto the top of a traditional tripod or selfie stick or any a monopod, any of the normal things. So again, that's a good addition. As I say, a box in a box. And everything goes in here. This originally, this I thought this was paper. It's not actually, it's plastic. So you can still keep everything nicely together. Two layers, all your instructions and all the bits about connecting up to the app and using the cloud and all those things. Um, but I won't go into all of that. That falls into the too difficult box for me, as does all the technicalities which you are not going to hear about on this video. There'll be no talk of megapixels, bit rates, frame rates, um, all that sort of thing. Alan's good at that. He set it up for me. I just have to press the button. So, basics. It's got this new Enduro battery. The batteries from, I think it's the 10 and the 11, also fit it, but this one's got extra, extra life in it. We've gone from a 9 to a 12, and there's quite a difference, actually. Not so sure that's the case with the 10 or the 11, um, but going from the 9 to the 12 has been well, I think it's a big difference. So, you've got this Enduro battery, and the media also goes in there. Standard sort of little micro SD card. Like always, they're quite fiddly. Um, and then the battery just slips in there. And then we've got the media mod here. You'll see the little connection there where my little finger is, and that goes in the hole in the side of the camera. So, you slot it in, press it so that it stays, and just close the side. Just like that. And it's still a really small camera. You'll see the microphone here, and it's got the three 60 microphone, as I've said, so it doesn't matter if you've got it on front or back, they can still hear me. Um, yeah, Alan says he's not sure about that one, but <laughs> that's tough, isn't it? <laughs> the connection to the stick is with these little lips, or I don't know what you call them. Anyway, you just slot it on in the normal GoPro way, always a bit fiddly, 
<laughs> Typical. Try doing that going along in a motorhome. You must make sure it's the right way around because that connection there needs to go in a hole in there. But let's just put the screw in first. Can't leave my screw loose. Helps if I get it from the right side. So, as I say, normal GoPro fixing. Gets in there, tighten it up. And then we'll show you where the connector goes. They've always got such a long thread on these things. Anyway, right, so we open this little door. And it's the middle one. In it goes, and we're ready to go. So all I need to do now is press this button here, and it beeps. That is great. What I kept doing was as soon as I press the button, I start spouting off about what I'm seeing and where I'm going. And most of the time, the first bit's a bit rubbish anyway, but so it doesn't matter. But sometimes what you say at the beginning really counts. And then it's a nightmare for Alan on the editing because half of the stuff is chopped off. Now I've got a beep, both when it goes on and when it goes off. I know when to start talking. I think Alan is quite like a beeper. <laughs> he can beep at me all the time, but he's not getting one. So we'll switch it off again. And that stops the recording. So know exactly where I am. Simplicity itself. Button to go. Button to stop. Beep. You know when to speak. Couldn't be easier. A couple of other things on here, actually. Um, there's a button here and you press this and you will see it's difficult from behind so let me get up here and you press that button there and it will tell you how much battery you've got now that doesn't seem very much at the moment ah there we go it's clicking up and that's where it ends up. Boot, Bluetooth indicator here as well. This button here is the mode. And then at the side here, which is really useful, you can charge it. And that charges then the stick and obviously also the camera. And the beauty of the tripod part of it is that you can stand it up while it's on its uh, stand or selfie stick or whatever you want to call it and have it charging so you're not risking the lens being flat on your table or somebody sticking stuff on top of it so all in all really useful love it I'm not going into all of these settings, but I did mention you can do this without your glasses on. And um, just showing you the screen there because this is quite a bit bigger and clearer than the old GoPros. Uh, as I say, I don't know about the 10 or the 11, but certainly an improvement on the 9. I can actually see what I'm doing, which is always a good thing. All in all, this is actually a very capable camera. I've concentrated on its simplicity, the press and go, because that's the best bit. I actually enjoy taking the photos and going on about what I'm seeing. But it does all sorts. It's got horizon levelling, it's got stabilisation, it's got hyperlapse, time lapse, it's got all sorts of things on it. and. Um, if you want all of those details, and they are important, I, I know I'm a bit flippant about it, but that's only because I've got Alan to help me, um, go onto YouTube and just search Hero 12 Black 
I would put a link in the description, but I'm not going to because there are so many and there's so many different styles of telling you what you want to know. So just go and search. But my favorite bits, just gonna quickly run you through my favorite bits. I like the shape of the stick. <laughs> yeah, I know it's really silly, but I do. I like the shape of the stick. I like the fact that not only does it have a tripod mount on the bottom, it's got a tripod mount here, which means it can go on the tripod with the stick, so you can still use the controls. Also, you can attach it to a selfie stick as well, so again, that's good. I like the beeps, so I never miss the beginning. But above all, I like the simplicity, and the photos are excellent. Technicalities, they're good too but not my bag really. Um, so as I say, go on YouTube and have a look. But all in all, it's my hero. <laughs> and I'm absolutely thrilled. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Don't forget to press that button if you liked. And we'll catch you on the next one. And who knows where we'll be. We might still be in Guernsey, but we might be back out on the road. Bye for now. <laughs>